yourselves. Lonesome country. Nothing much here but wagon ruts and dust. If a drop of rain to fall out of a cloud, it'd probably drown me. Then a bucket of dust in your face would probably bring you back again. There's Prairie Dog. Stop resting. Get up, battle! But you'd never stop. Didn't he? You fired them shots. You know where Abe Brown lives, don't you? Yep, sure do. Abe's broken his leg and he has to be brought into town. Well, I'll pick him up. Thanks. Oh, uh, I'm riding back with you tonight. How come? Hannah's pop has to go to Denver to collect some insurance money. Hannah's going to buy her wedding clothes and I'm tagging along to see if she gets some things I like. Congratulations! Uh, him and Hannah's are getting hitched. Couldn't happen to a better man. Who is he? Sam Martin. Doctor's hereabouts. I didn't know there's a vet this side of Ratoon. Oh, Sam don't doctor animals. People. Oh. Darn good at it, too. Looks more like one of the Dembro gang than a fellow that doctors human beings. If I was you, I wouldn't say that where the doc could hear. If I was you. He wouldn't like it being mistaken for a highwayman. He's a quick man on the draw, Sam is. If it's a pill or a pistol. Get up, Myrtle! Looking for a night on a white horse? Oh, Sam. I thought you weren't going to be back in time to catch the stage. Now, don't fret your pretty head. While the stage won't even pull in for an hour or so, I'll be ready. Now, you know your office is going to be jammed when you get there. People can't help getting sick. I know, but this trip means so much to me. And every time we plan anything together, something comes along to interfere. Look, honey. There's a white house being built behind that hill. You can't see it, but it's there. It's ours, Hannah. We're going to live it. Together for the rest of our lives. I know. What? Nothing. You don't seem very sure. I don't know. Sometimes I'm terribly sure. And I, I, I get frightened. Frightened? When we're together, I feel happy and safe. And then suddenly someone else needs you, and you go without a question without even looking back at me. Sometimes I wonder how much I really mean to you. I sometimes think... You've got bride jitters. Every girl does just before a wedding day. I suppose you're right. As soon as you're ready, you and your father come to my place. And whoever's not been doctored by then will just have to take care of himself. How are you, Doc? Hello, Sam. Hello, Doctor. I've never seen so many sick people in one place. Uh, not sick. Just afraid they won't know how to keep alive with you out of town. Not me, Sam. I always feel good uh, till you come to my house, then I'm flat on my back. I say, I uh, thought you might have a better time on your trip if I paid you for the misery you caused me. I never turned down a dollar or a compliment. Oh, doctor, I doctor. was here first. I'll uh, fit your prescription. You thought anybody knew. <clears throat> Here you are. A tablespoon before dinner. But, Doctor, I thought if one tablespoon does me so much good, I one thought... One tablespoon, that's all. But, Doctor... Now, not another drop, Grandma. Do you understand? Yes, Doctor. I understand. Doctor? Yes, I know. 
I told you to come back here to get that hand dressed last Wednesday. I didn't like to bother you. I don't like to make you any trouble. When I tell you to do something, it's not to make me trouble, it's to save me trouble. I'm sorry, Doc. Well, I tell you how to run your business? F, let's have that music box. You mean, you mean it's all right? It's okay so I can play it? Uh, you're cured in spite of yourself. <laughs> Me, I suppose. Returns of the day, Miss Anna. What? I, I guess that ain't just what to say, but you know what I mean. You and the doc. Oh, thank you. When do we leave? About 15 minutes. We've got to get Sam. It's coming from Sam's place. Well, let's join him. Roosters crowing in the Southwood Mountain. So many pretty girls, I can't count them. And little ones fight you. Hold it on, diddly day. Big girls court and little ones fight you. Hold it on. Oh, you are fun when you're not working. Hang on, here we go. Hold it on. Sam. I'll be right back. The first man that moves gets killed. I don't care who it is. Oh, yeah. Come on. Bert's rampaging again. He don't care who he hurts. Put that gun away, Bert. Stay out of this, you. Stay where you are, Doc. Let's have it, Bert. Give me the gun, Bert, before you get into real trouble. Let's have it, Bert. Doc, I'm telling you to stay where you are. I don't want to hurt you, Doc. Easy on the glassware, Jake. Thanks, Doc. That thing would have split my skull. Did he hit anybody? They shot at me, but he missed. Give me that gun, Bert. I've got all I can do to take care of sick people around here without any help from you. Next time you do any shooting in this town, I'll split your skull open myself. You understand? Yeah. You two shake hands. Go on. Come on, everybody. Have a drink on me. How about you, Doc? No, I've got to get going. Got to hand it to him. That Doc's a great guy. You bet he is. Come on, everybody in the bar. I'll get you things and toss them on the stage. All right, thanks, Davy. <laughs> the Yakoskis. Hi, Mr. Yakoski. Oh, Hello, Hi, Mrs. Doc. Yakoski, and all the young Yakoskis. Hi, My favorite patients. A lot of work. Not much pay. You need a sore sore. Well, I'll have a look at it. No, no, Dr. Sam. We didn't come for medicine. We came to say goodbye because they are leaving. Janina is going to be all right. When we get home, I give a goose grease. <laughs> okay. Well, line up, kids, and stick out your tongue. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dr. Sam. 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 Folks, I've got a schedule on my hand. So you better hurry, sir. Hold it a minute. Open that mouth wide. 
something wrong, Doctor? Don't worry, we're going to see that she's all right. Look, honey, you know how I hate to say this. I can't go with you. But why? I'm afraid it's diphtheria. Diphtheria? I'm sorry. Of course you'll have to stay. No, no, Dr. Sam. You go. You tell me what to do. I'll take care of Janina. It's not quite that easy. Even if you took care of her, it would still be contagious. You better take her into the drugstore. I can't go, Anna. You want me to stay with you? No, you go along and buy those wedding clothes. and Whatever you pick out, I'll like. But, Sam... Make up your mind, folks. I gotta get going. she wakes up, she'll be hungry. Oh, how I'll feed her. <laughs> I wish I had a gold mine on my place. <laughs> you don't want a gold mine. Makes a man round shoulder carrying that heavy stuff. <laughs> uh, F left me to tend shopper. Guess he didn't expect you back so soon or he wouldn't have gone out. I was up at the Yokoskis. Been there every morning for the past three weeks. Child's all right now. Say, you better pretty yourself up a little if you don't want to disappoint Hannah. The stage is coming in this afternoon. Yes, I know. It's only about a half an hour from Prairie Dog now. It's been nice traveling. It'll be nicer to get home. I've been reading in the book here. This is no time to be reading. Reading about King David. He had an ungrateful son that turned against him. A boy by the name of Absalom. Here they come. Yep. Wake up, Ray. Poor old King David. The way Absalom turned on him. His own boy. Time to be riding, son. Ready, Father. Frank. Ready, Father. I know how King David felt. He had a father's heart, same as mine. The He ain't got a chance with the Dambros. Put that away.
toe will get hurt. That team will stand, boys. You folks mind stepping down? Don't guess you can. Now, which one of you gents is the insurance man? Thank you. Had a watch like that once, and scoundrels stole it from me. I like them earrings, too. No. That's better, ma'am. Drop them guns. Drop him. Give me that. Those earrings. My watch. Look here. Let's be reasonable. Let you and me have a little talk. You too. Now, boy, we... Folks that don't do what they're told gets hurt. It's all over, folks. Right. I'd have had a good shot if you hadn't gotten in the way. Father, this man just risked his life for us. Well, I'm sorry, mister. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. My name's Hannah Brockway. Mine's Ben. Ben Taylor. Oh. Oh, Davy. We've got to get him to Sam Martin right away. A doctor? A good doctor. He lives in Prairie Dog. Come on, then. Can you hold him while I drive? Have to get him into the coach. He'd be more comfortable. He's been hit pretty hard. I don't think we dare move him, Papa. Tie up my horse and get in. We're going. Let her go. She comes. They ain't stopping. Look, Davy's hurt. Uh, hey, Doc, no. Oh. So help me, Mick Bob. I haven't had a ride with the Denver gang. Hannah, darling, are you hurt? No, I'm not. Davy is. Oh, this is Ben Taylor. How are you? Mr. Taylor saved us. He held up the Demrose while they were robbing us. He didn't bring him in? No, they got away. Give us a hand, some of you. Hanging's too good for any Dembro that ever was born. The Dembro gang's never been so close to here before. Well, they'll move away from here, all right, or hang. All right, now steady, men. Take him inside. Come ahead. Folks! This is Ben Taylor, the man who drove off the Denbro gang. Oh. Hey, bartender, the man's thirsty. <laughs> no, thanks. I've had enough. Enough? There ain't enough for you and Prairie Dog. This town ain't gonna forget what you've done for a long time. Drink up, Ben. Drink up. Come on, fellas. It's on the house. Hello, folks. Hello, Sam. Got ourselves a real hero. <laughs> yes, we have. Well, you can't see very much from here. <clears throat> I got a girl in forward mountain. He won't come and I won't fetch her. Holy hundy hundy hung. Whoa! What are you doing here so early? I didn't want to miss seeing you before you started out on your rounds. Come on in. Sit down and eat. Fetch yourself a chair. It's a 
trouble. You don't look sick. No, not me. It's my mother. What's wrong with her? <laughs> That's a fool question, isn't it? I don't know, Doc. It's been going on a long time. It just gets worse. Can't seem to do much of anything no more. Why'd you wait so long to call me in? I didn't know there was a doctor in this part of the world till yesterday. Where is he? I've got a shack up the road a piece. Funny, I don't remember seeing you before. I know most of the folks around. Well, we just moved in a couple of weeks ago. She's pretty sick. Let's go if you're ready. This is Hannah, isn't it? Miss Brockway, I guess I ought to say. Yes. Better get started. When did you first begin to know those strange feelings, Mrs. Taylor? Was it long ago, a year, two years? Quite a while ago. Something happened that disturbed you? It... It's been ever since... Ever since before we came to these parts. I see. Take a teaspoonful of this and a glass of water every two hours. And one of these every night. They'll help you rest. Thank you, Doctor. And above all, try not to worry. You can see that for yourself. Yeah, I can see. He's gonna be all right. Before I can start the cure, I've got to find out what the sickness is. You asked more, she answered you. I asked her, but she didn't answer me. Look here, Ben. Your mother tells me what I can see for myself. A part of her body aches, the fact that she can't sleep and hasn't got much appetite. Those are symptoms. The cause is much deeper. It's something in your mother's mind. If you're trying to tell me that I'm my mother... Not, your mother's as sane as anyone I've ever met. There's something she's afraid of. Very much afraid. What is it, Ben? Ben, I'm not trying to pry into your secrets. It's, it's just that I have to find out what's bothering your mother before I can start curing her. There isn't anything. I'm a doctor, Ben. I hear a lot of things. What I hear stays with me. There isn't anything. Watch out, Rattler! That was a pretty quick draw you made. How can a man who shoots as quick and straight as you do let three bandits get away? What are you trying to say? I'm not saying, I'm asking. It's been on my mind ever since you brought the stagecoach into town. So long, Doc. So long. When will you be back? I'm not coming back. Not coming back? Well, you got to, Doc. My mother's sick. That medicine I left won't cure her, but it'll make her feel more comfortable. You can come by the office and pick up another batch when it's gone. I can't do any more for her the way things are.
duck. It ain't easy to talk about. Take your time. My name ain't Ben Taylor. I knew that. You're a Dembro. I'm against him, Doc. My father and my brothers. Is that why you let him get away? Ah, killing your own kin comes hard, no matter who they are. But the first thing I remember in my life, Doc, was waking up at night and hearing my mother begging Pa to live like other folks. My own ma crying and begging him. When I was this high, I told Pa I was going to be what she wanted. He laughed at me. He said, what's in the blood will come out in the flesh, no matter what you do. In the blood? Yeah, Grandpa was just the same as him. Look here, Ben. Every person that was ever born had four grandparents, eight great-grandparents, and 16 great-great-grandparents. If you go back far enough, you've got the blood of almost every human being in the whole world. And most of them are fine people. You're all right, Ben. Tell your mother that I know it'll ease her mind. There's one more thing. I haven't got any money. Well, you've got a pair of hands. I'm fixing up a house. I'll pay you going wages to finish it and take out what you owe me. Sure. And don't loaf on the job. I'm getting married as soon as that house is finished. I'll expect you on the job in the morning. Morning, Sam. Morning, Davy. I'm riding out today. Uh-uh. Ten days out of bed doesn't make you spry enough to drive a team. Well, I'm just riding. Dan's driving. He's riding gone. The Dembros are around again. They held up the bank in Silvertip. And I'm just hoping to take another crack at my stage. Well, wait a minute. Here's one for Nate Brockaway. If you're going by that way... Might be, Davy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Morning. Well, come in and help me sip. I got my rounds to make, thought Hannah might like to ride with me. Uh, you're too late, son. She saddled up that Palomino mare of hers after breakfast and rode out to your house again to see how Ben was getting along. The oftener she goes to hurry him, the slower he seems to work. Well, you can't expect a man to rush when you're paying him by the day. <laughs> this came for you on the stage. Hey, don't be so casual with five thousand dollars. Five thousand in that little package? Yeah, bills. It's the insurance settlement for Joe Miller's widow. I got to put it in the safe. Well. Every time I reach the green pastures, something interrupts me. Mr. Locking it. I don't like guns in town, Cash. They're noisy. Would you mind opening that safe again? <sighs> Convince him. Then why be so stubborn? 
belongs to a widow with two children. I got three. Two by my side and one that's a prodigal. Don't you want to change your mind? No. Money is the root of all evil. to see you. Is Hannah here? She's inside with my mother. Ma's pretty bad. We thought she was going to die. Die? I saw her yesterday and she was fine. Well, Pop was here. Came by before daylight. How did he know where you were? I don't know. I swear a Doc, I don't know. He talked to Ma alone before he went. I don't know what he said, but she's awful bad. I'll have a look at her. to keep her warm. Sam. See if you can dig up some blankets, warm them in the oven, and bring them back to me. Ben, your mother needs some extra blankets. Show Hannah where they are. Stage. They heard him. Nate! Nate! Open up! It's me, Jamie! I guess we got to leave. I'll show them, Medlin. Told you I don't like guns in town. Come on, sons. And tell the sheriff. He'll pick up a posse and go out and get him. I'll take care of Nate. All right. Keep it warm. Barricade that door. Get out of here. Watch it. I told you to get out. Help your brothers, man. 
don't want this place kept quiet. Who's that? Doc Martin, he's taking care of more. Oh, uh, keep her quiet, Doc, when the shooting starts. Shooting? You want her to die? All right, get going. Go, Mr. Cash. Mrs. Taylor! Stop it, stop it! Now look how you've upset your mom. I told you to get started. Honor thy father, boy. Your father? I didn't want to hurt you, son. Get out of the way, Sarah. Go ahead, Kirk. Shoot. Shoot now. There's nothing else left for you. Get over. All right. Outside. Yeah, just you say, Doc. Kinda of worried us not knowing where you were. That Embro's got your father. Hurt him pretty bad. We trailed him up this far. They just got away from me. They cut across the hill. Dembro's, you mean your father? What? So your name's Dembro. That's right. You're under arrest. No, you can't arrest him. He didn't have anything to do with it. He's been here all the time. They'll believe you, Sam. It's the true, Sheriff. He's been here all the time. A Dembro's a Dembro. Come along. You can't take him, Joe. What's gonna stop me? Not a thing. Come on, take him and let's go. We're wasting time. Look, Joe, his mother's in that house. She's dying. I'm sorry for her, but it's my business to arrest him. It's mine to save lives. If you take Ben away, you take away whatever little chance that woman's got to live. Sorry, I've got to arrest him. I'll bring him in. What if he doesn't want to come? I'll argue. Come on, get it over, Joe. Let's get started. All right, Sam. He's your prisoner. But if you lose this argument, you better hunt a new county to practice medicine in. Well, boys, looks like the first one in our new jail is going to be a Dembro. Oh, I'm sorry, Ben. I didn't realize... Well, it wasn't your fault. My luck's just run out. Better go to your father. pay for this. Dembros. I'll hate that name as long as I live. I'm sorry, Ben. I did all I could.
better get started back to town, Ben. Well, you didn't mean it, Doc, what you told the sheriff. I did mean it. But you know I'm innocent. There's two good reasons for a man to stand trial, Ben. To be proven guilty or prove himself innocent. I haven't got a chance, Doc. I'm a Dembro. If I let you run out now, Ben, you'll be a hunted man the rest of your life. And if you take me in, I won't be alive. They'll hang me. Come on, Ben. All right, if that's what you want. Well, I'd begun to think he wasn't coming in. I told you he was. I gave Ben my word he was going to get a fair trial. Fair trial? Sure. Sure, you'll get one. Good night, Ben. Fair trial, huh? Well, Mr. Ben, innocent Taylor Dembro, I'll bet there never was a man west of the Mississippi hanged as fair as you're going to be. I'm here, Eph. Uh, the dog ain't here. He's gone to the funeral. Funeral? Dr. Martin following that, that, that Denver woman's casket? Well, yeah. Doc's that kind of a man. When the time comes, if you look back, you'll even see him following yours. What? go to her funeral. Ah, maybe she's better off the way things are. Ben. You won't be here long. You're innocent. They want to hang a Dembro. It's my tough luck and I'm the one they got. You mustn't talk like that. Or even think like that. You haven't been convicted. Why, you haven't even had a trial. A trial? If you only knew how hard Sam's been working to help you, he won't let them convict you. You've got a lot of confidence in Sam, haven't you? Yes, of course. I think you'd better go now. Us making a hero of him, him laughing at us all the time. What grabs me is all those drinks I bought him. You wasn't the only one. Calling himself Taylor, a respectable man. I don't get the way Doc stands up for him. If it hadn't been for Sam, Dembro would have been hung by this time. Well, let's Come on, let's go in. Now, do you admit that your name is Ben Dembro, Mr. Taylor? <laughs> Order! Order! Well? I do. And do you also admit that if you hadn't pushed Nate Brockway, he could have got a good shot at the bandits? Well, that's something I'd like to explain. We don't know. need your explanation. No, we don't want to be anyway. Just answer my question. Yes or no? Yes. Now, you claim you haven't been in touch with your family since you left them. That's right. Yet when they wanted to hide out, they knew exactly where to come. Isn't that true? In a way, it is. Yes or no? Give him a chance, Mark. That's what we're doing, thanks to you. Order. Order. Answer my question, Dembro. Yes. Although they can't hang a man just because his name's Dembro. 
People don't get their characters from their names. Miss Hannah, are you here to see Dembro again? May I? Well, there ain't any law against it. There's no good in it, either. Thank you. Company. Hello, Ben. You know he was right. About the law? No. About there being no good in seeing me. I'll expect you to return the calls later. Why do you come here? You know why. Oh, Ben, dear, I... Oh, Hannah. Oh, Ben. Hannah, I... Even if I should get out of here, I'd be a marked man. Be hunted, blamed. We'd have no peace, no future. We'll go away someplace. I did go away. I went to Prairie Dog. Oh, but Ben, don't you see? A few it? weeks ago, you didn't know I existed. A few weeks more, one way or the other, and I'll be gone. It'll be as if you'd never known me. Oh, it can never be that way now. You'll marry Doc. He'll make you happy, like you ought to be. But don't you understand? I love you, Ben. Time's up. Now, Dr. Martin says that Ben Dembro must be innocent because he stopped the first holdup. We don't care why he stopped them. Let's get it over with. Why do I say more time? Hold up. Order. Gentlemen, if you stop to think of it, that's the move that clinches the whole case. Why, the smartest thing the Dembros could do would be to gain our confidence. And that's exactly what they did. They sent this Ben Dembro here to play hero. And they almost got away with it. Why, he knew what was going on in this town as fast as it happened. Nate Brockway hardly had time to get that money locked up in his safe before Ben Dembro sent word to the rest of them. There's only one thing to do with a rat like that. A rope around his neck. Every word you've said's a lie. Take it easy, Ben. Mark, Ben wasn't near the Brockway place that day, and you know it. You're not his attorney, Sam. No, I'm not, Mark. But that's no reason to let you railroad an innocent person to the gallows. What do you mean, railroad? Ah, oh, what's the use, Doc? I'm not getting a fair trial. What do you think you're getting? We've been sitting here three days and haven't hung you yet. That's right, Doc. He's getting a fair trial. Oh, now, Judge, you've got no right to talk like that. You men know that. Why, you wouldn't be on a jury unless your minds are open. And I wouldn't be up here talking like this if I wasn't sure that Ben is innocent. I've watched him pretty close ever since he came to town. I saw the way he took care of his mother. When the Dembros walked into Ben's house after the Brockway holdup, I was there. He was ready to kill his own father, kill the very men with whom he was supposed to be working. Why didn't he? Judge, it's your job to be impartial. Well, then tell me. Why didn't he? Because he was afraid the shooting would kill his mother. He was doing everything he could to try and save her life. I was with him when she died. I brought him from her side and took him into jail. And ever since then, you've been trying to get him out? I'm surprised at you, Mark. I promised him a fair trial. And I knew my promise would be made good. Sit down, Doc. He's as guilty as they come. Oh, I knew a lot of people would start yelling for a hanging the minute they found out his name was Dembro. But I know that you 12 men aren't going to be swayed by lawyers talk. Why, the only thing that's been proved here is the fact that Ben's name is the same as his father's. And that doesn't call for a hanging. Not in any state. You people here are all my friends. So is he. But that isn't why I want you to set him free. He's innocent. Well, that was a very pretty speech. But I'd like to ask Doc just one question, Judge, if you don't mind. No, Mark. Go ahead. Sam, did you happen to know that Hannah Brockway's been slipping in to visit this man ever since he's been in jail? Well, you foul mouthed. Ben is being tried here for robbery, not for anyone who called on him in jail. I know Mark's a good man and a good lawyer. It's pretty tough on him to have so bad a case he has to rake up scandal instead of evidence. <clears throat> you men have heard everything. 
Go on out and make up your minds. Reach everybody. That's right. Keep them high. Now back over against that wall, a lot of you. Frank, get the gun. Cash wants the door. What's holding you back, Ben? Start at the other end. Don't do it, Ben. Why shouldn't I? If you run out of this courtroom, you'll be one of them for good. That's what I've been ever since they brought me into this court. The jury won't convict you, Ben. I'll stake my life on it. Your life, Doc. Not mine. Don't, Ben! He's a damn rule. That's it. All right, sons. By the way, there ain't a horse outside this court. We've seen to that in case you want to follow us. Well, so long, folks. There's one Dembro we won't have to hang. What's that? Hit me on the head with a gun butt and ran off with the other Dembros. Well, I'll be darned. Just shows how wrong we all were. Why, we'd voted to set him free. That's right. That's yeah. right, yes. isn't a holdup. Just a friendly little visit. I came here to pay you. What for? My mother's funeral. I don't want that money, Ben. You earned it. You didn't. If you don't want to use it, that's your business. I pay my debts. You're making a mistake. Mistake? I made two mistakes, Doc. When I walked out on my family in the first place and when I got big-hearted and told Hannah she ought to marry you. The first one I couldn't do anything about. And the other? do something about. She's marrying me. Have you forgotten about your own mother, Ben? The things you told me about her life? The way we saw her die? No, I haven't forgotten. You are a Dembro after all. I guess maybe you're right. So long, Doc.
You and me will take the horses down to the creek and water them. Ben, you stay and help your wife break camp. Hurry it up. Ben, do we have to go? We're in trouble. I can't do it, Ben. I can't go on running anymore. Please, please don't ask me to. I can't do it. All right, honey, we won't run anymore. <gasps> What are you going to do, wait here till the sheriff picks us up? We aren't asking you to wait for us. I'm not going to save your neck again. That's how Frank got killed. <laughs> Stop sniveling. If you can't be useful around here, go back to your old man. should live in peace. What's all this about? I told him if she can't keep up with us, he'll have to leave her. Hannah's my wife. Sure she is. She can't write anymore. I'm gonna take her away. You don't have to do that, son. My baby's going to get his chance. Well, of course he is. He's a Dembro, ain't he? I know a shack, Cash and me have used it lots. It's a nice little place way up in the mountains. We'll all go there and wait. But I... Now, don't you worry, daughter. Providence has been very good to us. We've got lots of money, and we can hold out as long as we have to. Something bothering you, Ben? Fatherhood's a responsibility, Cash. And you know when your time comes. You ain't been to your wife all morning, son. I don't know what to say to her. Say what I told you. Hey! Oh, Mr. Oh, it's the Alkali Kid. You wouldn't know him because you've been away from us. He brings us supplies from town while we're out here. Day, mistress. If you happen to have a drink for poor old Alkali. Go to your wife, Ben. Well, don't! Get the beans and bacon off the mule, then you can have another. I will, mistress, right away. Let's talk more about it, Ben. There isn't any more to talk about. Repeat it, then. I like hearing it. All right. As soon as the baby's born, we'll pack up and go away. Far away someplace. That's right. The Dembros won't know where we are. And we live like other people. Just the three of us. Just the three of us. Now? Put the grub on the shelves first. Come on, Kay. You'd better get some rest now. Feeling better now? Yeah. I told you she would. What'll happen when she finds out it's a lie? Nothing. It's comfort to her in a time of tribulation. Besides, when the time comes she's got to know, she'll be bound to us by ties of blood. She'll know then there ain't no other life for a dim room.
The mistress said I could when I put away the stuff. Who are you? I bring things to the mistress from the store. And you go away again? Oh, but I come back when the mistress want me to. They know that. They can trust me. Shh. Do you know a town called Prairie Dog? Have they got a drink there? Drink? They have a whole bottle. Listen, there's a doctor at Prairie Dog. His name is Martin. Sam, what's the matter? Aren't you listening? Well, he'll take the bottle away from me. No, 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 no. He won't take it away. Well, people always do. Even the misters do. Dr. Martin won't. He'll give you a bottle. Just tell Dr. Sam Martin I sent you. Just tell him Hannah needs you, Sam. And he'll give you a whole bottle. A whole bottle? Who will? Sam Martin will. If you tell him Hannah needs him, he'll give you the whole bottle. But if you forget, you won't get the bottle. Dr. Sam Martin. Well, I guess that's the whole story. Wait till I've left town and give the Yokoskis this deed to my house. But if you uh, come back? I'm not coming back. Prairie Dog sure got a miss you, Doc. I don't think so, Eff. I haven't had a patient in a long time. Guess they haven't much use for me since I helped Ben Dembro. Oh, but they'll come back if you wait around a while. I waited too long now. Goodbye, Eff. see me and you'd give me a whole bottle. <laughs> the saloon's on the next corner. They'll give you all the bottles you have money to pay for. Eh? No, but she said to tell Sam Hannah needs it. What? Hannah, where is she? A whole big bottle. Tell me where she is. Yes, I will. I will. Better get off the street before a horse steps on you. I said, Hannah needs Sam. And he gave me a bottle. Hannah. A full bottle. Just like he said he would. And then he rode off to her. Well, you should watch yourself, Nate. You'll shake everything he knows right out of his head. Now then, partner, just where did the doc ride to? Uh, let me see the bottle first. Nate, start rounding up everybody that wants to join us in a Dembro hunt. Now then, the quicker you talk, the quicker that bottle will be yours. Let me see the bottle first. He can help Hannah. What are you doing here? Hannah sent word that she needed me. How did she send word? You ought to know the doc wouldn't tell you that. Cash has always been a little impetuous. Are you alone? If I could have, without hurting Hannah, I'd have brought enough men here to blow you to kingdom come. From what I was told, I thought it'd be better for her if I came alone. I believe that. Sounds reasonable. What'll we do with him afterwards? We'll figure that out later. Come on in, Doc. Ben's wife does need a little help. I didn't know what 
what to do. That's why. I... Take this, please. the father they'll call him there's a posse coming up the mountain that looks like the whole town and the doc was lying yeah i should have killed him right away oh what good would that have done can't you and me'll hitch up the horses you get your wife man she'll ride in the wagon sam i want to talk i want you to rest up for the big job that's ahead of you come on we're moving moving you know what'll happen if you move hannah now all i know is you better see that it don't happen for your own sake doc why ask your friend what are you talking about? All those people you didn't tell where to find this place are just accidentally coming up the hill with enough guns to start a war. Now, come on, hurry up. I'll drive the team. I know your doc won't talk me into anything. Well, you, your brother's right, man. If anything happens to her, Cash, you'll wish it hadn't. Get started. Get out! Oh, Sam, I can't stand. I know. Hey, you up there in the driver's seat. Hi, Peter. Thanks for reminding me. Only that posse would catch up with us. We'll cut across the hill and try to draw the posse after us. We can lose them in the gullies. If they don't follow us, I'll pray for you, son. You know where to meet us. If one of us has got to die, I'd rather have it her than me.
Where are the rest of them? They rode into the gullies, hoping you'd follow them instead of the wagon. Maybe we can still get them. Let's go! Wait a minute, Nate! They don't need you. Hannah's in this wagon. You're going to be a grandfather by morning. She's got to be driven home. I didn't know she had a home. She needs you back there. Hurry up, we've got to get into your house. No, not to my house. She's a Dembro. She's your daughter. But if that's the way you feel about it, drive to the Yokoskis. She'll find a home with them. Staying very long. Here, put this on. We haven't got much time. I'm not going. You're my wife, Hannah. I won't run anymore. You won't have to. What did your father tell you to say to me this time? That we'll go to Mexico or the Oregon Territory? Just the three of us. You and I and the baby. Oh, I found a farm, a nice place. You and the boy can stay there and Until I'll... another posse catches up with you and you have to run again. I want to live like other people, Ben. I'm a Dembro, and I'll live like oh, a Dembro. You'll have to... Come on, Come in. What's that? What's Doc doing here? Be quiet, Ben. They'll hear you. Hey, kids, look who's here. Doctor! Here we are. Oh, oh, no, 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 I'll try it with you. I'll try it. All of you, I'll try it. And you, too. Where's Hannah? In her room. I want to look at the baby. The baby or the mother? <laughs> Hannah? If he comes in here, I'll kill him. Hannah! I'll be right out, Sam. Get rid of him. How is he? Oh, he, uh, he's asleep. I want to look at him before going on my rounds. I've got five calls to make. <laughs> People are letting me cure them again. Good. They ought to be ashamed of themselves in the first place, the way they treated you. Uh, you take him, Mrs. Yukoski. He seems better in your arms. I'd be glad to, Hannah. I'll wait around till he wakens. Uh, Sam, uh, let me ride with you on your calls. 
let you ride with me. Well, I, I need a little air. I, I've been cooped up all day. Please let me go. Well, nothing would make me happier. I'll get your cloak. I'll get it. I thought you were getting rid of it. I have to say, I'd go to give you a chance to get away. What'll you be doing while I'm getting away? Come on, Hannah. Right away. Sam, you once told Ben that it makes no difference what's in a person's blood, what his father was. Yes. Tell me the truth, Sam. My baby's a Dembro. What I told Ben is the truth. I've got to know. Anna, this is hard for me to say, and it'll be harder for you to hear. Ben was a sick man long before you and I met him, full of self-pity and hatred. But you said he could overcome those things. He could have. He had a chance to save himself until the moment he escaped from the courtroom. But they wanted to hang him. He was in a tough spot, but the fight wasn't over. The man who runs out when the going gets tough is lost. And my baby? That depends a whole lot on you. Anna! Dr. Sam! Dr. Sam, wait! The baby. Then Dembro came and took him away. Oh, Sam, the baby. He held his gun on us, made us all line up against the wall. When I ran out, he was heading towards Yellow Rock. They have friends there. Sometimes they hide at the saloon, use the name of Johnson. Drive Hannah home. Sure. Run over to the stable and get my horse. Oh, sure, Doc. What's all the hurry, Sam? We have an operation to perform. Operation? Say, you want me to go along and give you a hand? No, well, this is a one-man job. Tying him, Doc. You ain't staying. No rest for the weary traveler. I don't know how cash you'd take it after what you've done to him, but I'm giving you a chance. I'm going to let you get a little start before I shoot you. If you're faster than a bullet, you might get away. Hurry up, Doc. I'm getting impatient.
Paul? First cash, then Paul. Now you want to make it three Dembros. I want Hannah's baby, Ben. He's mine and he's staying with me. Anytime my wife wants to join us, she can. Isn't that what you'd say, Doc, if you were me? If I were you, I'd get on my horse and start riding out of town. No, Doc. If I leave this town alive, it'll be after you can't. Unless you're the kind that'll shoot me in the back. If you want anything I've got, come to the saloon. I'll be waiting for you there. Don't go. I may need another drink. Time. Good night, Johnny. Good night. Good night. How much longer do you think I'm going to live alone behind that drugstore in one room? Well, why don't you ask her? Now. Doc! Doc! Doc. A couple of fellas got shooting each other. They need a lot of bandage and they need her right now. Well, let's go. Sam, you may need this. It frightens me when you have to go to one of those shootings. I'll come back. Oh, uh, the Yukoskis moved out of my house. Don't you think it's about time we moved in? I'll wait up for you, Sam. Hurry back. <laughs> 